Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another vlog. I hope you have all been well. I don't know if you can tell because I'm currently sitting on the floor, but I'm back home from Wales. The trip was absolutely incredible to say the least. That country is so, so beautiful. I filmed a couple of vlogs. If you guys haven't seen them and you want to see a bit of our trip, you can go back and watch those. But in a nutshell, it was just the most amazing trip. We had so much fun. We did so many fun things and yeah, it was amazing. So I'm super grateful that I got to do that. But now I'm back home and I'm excited about that. I'm back with Theo who is somewhere outside I'll go and get him later so yeah I'm really happy to be back with him getting back into it I filmed a video this morning I did a leg workout and yeah so I'm feeling really good I feel really motivated right now I just love being home and being back in my routine I feel really productive and I always feel my most happy when I'm being productive so yeah it's been really good today I thought I would start a vlog I don't know how long I'm gonna vlog for but I just thought I would film a little bit of you know just getting back into it after holiday and I also have a bunch of packages that I want to show you guys from some companies so that's the main reason I wanted to film this video because I just felt like sitting down and opening some packages with you guys. I got some things from Nasty Girl while I was away because I was just bored on a trip and I saw a few girls wearing some really nice things from Nasty Girl so I went on that and bought some things for myself and I've got some things from Opoly. I've got a package from Fanola which is a hair brand and I also have some stuff from Fashion Nova so I thought I would sit down and unbox everything and show you what I got. So let's just get started with that shall we? I'm very girly today in my pink top. It's from um, Bardo. I don't even know what it says. Just nice and comfy. So, yeah. Sorry if you guys can hear the fan. It's so hot today. The weather is perfect in Australia. There's not a cloud in the sky. And we were actually really lucky while we are over in the UK as well. There were so many sunny days, which is like unheard of in the UK. So we got super lucky. But anywho, what should I start with? Let's start with Fanola because I've never tried this brand before and they very kindly sent this to me I didn't even know this was coming so that was a nice surprise to come home to and I just opened the box and there is a little note that says Alex we would proudly like to give to you with the finest Italian shampoo they use my last name to say proudly that is so cute thank you so much guys this is so sweet this is what the box looks like there's a little photo of me in there the first thing that I can see is the uh, styling tools thermo shield which is really exciting because I actually just ran out of the one that I was using I forgot what brand it was but I know it was just a cheap one from uh, Priceline that probably didn't do much so very excited to give this a go and we also have some shampoo and conditioner which look to be purple shampoos which is perfect because I am a blonde this is the no yellow um, shampoo it's free of sulfate which is amazing which means I can use it because I have extensions it's also free of silicone and parabens and it's hundred percent vegan so that is absolutely amazing and then same with the conditioner so I'm so excited that I can actually use these because I have to be careful with certain shampoos and conditioners because it can break the um, break down the bonds in my glue <laughs> it can break down the glue um, that holds my extensions to my hair. So I'm definitely adding these straight into my shower to give a go. And then we also have some Oro Therapy 24K Zafiro Puro. What is that? Radiating fluid. GB illuminating fluid for blonde bleached and streaked hair with sapphire microactive gold and sun filter enriched with argan and sweet uh, cypress oil formulated to counter oxidation oh my god oxidation oxidation which is amazing because after a while if you've got quite cool hair it can go quite brassy and protect from damage caused by a free radical it's regenerating action restores body and vitality to bleached hair contrast yellow tones and instantly restore brilliance so i'm excited to give that a try so you can just use it in your dry hair but that is what it looks like oh it's like a glass bottle that is so fancy and lastly we have a Botogen, Botogen Hair Ritual Boto Live Filter Spray. So this is a Reconstructor Filler Spray, Boto Life Keratin Hyaluric Acid. Ooh, GB Reconstructor Filler Spray for brittle and damaged hair gives tone, body, and volume to hair, making it extraordinary, sil extraordinarily silky without weighing it down or making it sticky. The hairstyle would last longer. Use spray evenly on towel dry, nearly dry hair along. The whole length massage and then pr proceed to style cool so this is like a um kind of a volumizing treatment so yes those are the products that i received from Fanola. thank you so much guys i can't wait to give all of this a go if you guys want to hear about any of these products definitely let me know and i'll keep you updated next let's open up my nasty girl stuff you know what theo is doing i might just go check on him quickly brb crisis averse she was sleeping next to ryan i'm such a it's a crazy dog mom, I always worry about him. There he is. Hello, say hi. I missed you. Were you so happy when we got home? Oh, 
your sleepy baby, aren't you? <laughs> Did we wake you up real early this morning? Hmm? Will we your alarm clock instead of you being our alarm clock at 5 a.m.? You want to sit and do a haul with me? He's like, no, scratch me. Oh. Your lips stop, babe. <laughs> oh my god, are you just living the absolute life? I gotta do a haul. Here, you can sleep next to me. Come here. Oh, good boy. I know. He's like looking at me like, why are you putting me down? Keep scratching me. All right, let's get into this Nasty Girl bag. I used to shop on Nasty Girl all the time, and now it's kind of coming back. I actually was inspired to make this order by M Davies and Chinsia, who was wearing one of the jumpers that I got. But of course, I couldn't just buy one item. I had to fill up a whole cart, and that is what I did. I don't think I got that many items, but I can never make an order on a website without buying a few things. I feel like I just can't justify it, which makes no sense. I bought a few things, basically, so let's just get straight on into it. So the first thing I'll show you is what I went on the website to buy, which is something a little bit different for me. I'm kind of trying to branch out and wear a bit more cute clothes, put in a bit more of an effort when picking an outfit. I say that and then tomorrow you'll probably see me in active wear, but you know, when it comes to like, you know, going on outings and stuff like that. So this is the first thing that I got, which is this cute little sweater right here. It's probably bad timing to buy it since we are going out of winter, but I can wear it a little bit now while it's a bit cooler at night. So this is what it looks like. It's a size small. It's got these really beautiful pearl buttons. I just thought this was so cute. I feel like I could even wear this with like a pair of shorts, a nice belt, some cute little shoes. It's got like, I was going to say padded, but it's not really padded. It's just kind of a structured shoulder. So yeah, I thought this was really cute. You could probably dress it up or down. Love it. What is this? Oh, this is like another pearl inspired one. I'm really excited about this. This is what it looks like. Oh, I love it. How cute is that? So it's like a long sleeve sky blue top with little pearls down the front. I got this in a size small as well. It's like a ribbed knit material. Again, you can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with shorts. How cute is that? It's got like little ruffle detailings on the end of the sleeves and down the bottom as well. Then, oh, I got some earrings to go with my pearl inspired tops look at me go that's what they look like just little hearts and they've got little um should i say little again little pearls around them how cute are they a little bit of a statement and then what is this? Oh, geez oh i remember this this is like a little um, white crop top, but it's a halter neck. You tie it up around the neck. And I just thought this would be, again, really cute. Pop them with a pair of shorts, a pair of jeans. Nice to go, you know, something like that. I got it in a size small. And the booby area is double lined, which is great because by looking at it, it looked a bit uh, sheer. But the top part is double lined, so that's great. Love that. I haven't shopped at Nasty Girl. I always got to say Nasty Girl because Nasty Girl just sounds so Australian. Um, but I haven't shopped on this website for years. I used to go and look on their stuff all the time when I was younger. I think even in high school, I looked on their website. I don't think I ever bought anything, but maybe I did. I don't know. But I just remember going on the website a lot as a kid. So it's exciting to be buying things from them once again. The last thing, I think, yeah, this is the last thing, is this little black top because I don't really have many little black crop tops. It actually looks quite big though. Hopefully it fits. I got it in UK8. It's just like a really nice um, crop top with puffy sleeves. And then I don't know if you can see, it's got like kind of like a structured detailing around the waist, which I think will look really cute. So yeah, pick those up. I'm so excited to wear all of those. Are they all tops? They are. <laughs> I never buy bottoms. I always buy tops, but I feel like I actually have a pretty good collection of like jeans and shorts and things like that now. So it's always nice to add a few little cute tops. So that is what I got from Nasty Girl. Next up, we'll go into Opoly, which I am actually working with this month. So these are my selects that you'll probably see on Instagram. And they've got the most amazing stuff. It's a UK-based brand. You've probably heard me talk about it before. And they've got really beautiful bikinis. They've got lots of going out clothes. So I think I chose mainly going out stuff. Because you can never have enough. First thing I got is a bikini set. Oh, this is stunning. Wow. This color. I better get a good tan on for this. Look at this color. It is a rose gold sheeny 
bikini and that is what it looks like shiny bikini <laughs> i got it in a size small hopefully they fit i'll have to give them a go and this is what the bottoms look like i was really confused at first because they're super high-waisted so we'll see how those go hopefully they look okay on but like that is a long crotch but i've seen them on other girls and they look stunning so very pretty can't wait to try those on then oh look at the color of that dress oh stop it so excited this is the next dress that i got and oh my god are you dead this color is beautiful it's like a lilac i got it in a size eight it's a little bit of a stretch um sheen material i got that totally wrong but it's got a little bit of a stretch to it so yeah this is what it looks like it's got the corset de detailing in the front nice little uh, rib detailing on the breast area it's got adjustable straps and then it's also got like this ruch detailing down the side which i think will look really flattering hopefully um i got it in a size eight how beautiful is that i can't wait to try that on hopefully it fits lastly i got this one which uh, oh i'm obsessed with this color it's like a mint color this is a really nice stretchy slinky material i can tell i'm going to love this dress i got it in a size eight again it's got like little strappy detailings on the side or is that on the side oh, on the inside no at the front oh my god <laughs> wow work it out alex um at the front so you can just tie it up right here love it so i can't wait to get some photos in those you'll probably um see them on instagram very soon lastly we had fashion nova which you guys probably um know that i've worked with for a long time now i love them all right first thing that i am very excited about i had a little sneak peek in this stuff last night because i didn't know where it was from is this little handbag oh so cute so what it looks like it's a little like triangular bag it's got like an envelope clasp is that what you would call it i'm really bad at describing bags so i'm not a fashionista but i think that's what you would call it isn't it envelope i don't know i could be wrong but this is what it looks like super cute i think there's a strap in there as well but I just thought that would look so nice to jazz up some outfits. It's like a crocodile print that comes in a bunch of different colors as well. But I thought I don't really have any brown bags, so I picked that one up. Then I got some more jeans because you can never have enough fashion over jeans. They're honestly the best. They're so nice and stretchy and they just fit so well. I think I got them in a size three. Hopefully they fit. These are the, by the way, um, Feeling You, Feeling Me girlfriend jeans. Yeah, these are nice. I can tell these get fit good. They're nice, stretchy fits love them i have so many pairs of jeans it's actually ridiculous but i truly do wear them every day even in summer and then i'm excited about this one this looks really cool i picked up this dress so this is what it looks like it's like a white t-shirt dress but it's got a um it's almost like a leather banding around the side right here there's uh silver buttons and i just thought this would look really cute with like a pair of boots oh oh my god something flew off it that scared me um a pair of sneakers i don't know i've got to think about how i would style this but i just thought it would look kind of cool so pick that one up i also got some bikinis as well now that we're coming into summer but i don't i think i might this might just be a top which i'm gonna need the bottoms for to message them yeah this is just the top but this is what it looks like probably wear this with a pair of black bottoms or something but i probably like the matching bottoms so this is what it looks like it's in a size medium how pretty is that i love those colors that was like a deep tan the beat so that is the top i'm just gonna have to make sure i get the bottoms for that this is the next bikini i got those ones um this is part of a mix and match range so that's why the bottoms probably didn't come these ones came together and these are a white pair of bikinis which i don't actually i don't think i own any white bikinis maybe some but i've probably gotten rid of them um, but they just look like this. They've got a cutout down here, a bit sexy. And then the top is like a bandeau style, but it's also got a um, strap right here and it's got, kind of got the same V down the middle. This is actually really cute. I think I've got it in a size medium as well. I love that. And then lastly, this is actually the dress I've got to put that bag with. I've got a pair of like um, nudie kind of snake boots that I'm gonna wear this and that bag if it all looks good so this is what it looks like it's a jumper dress i got it in a size extra small it's like a cute nude color hopefully it's not too short i'll have to see so i might belt it i'm not too sure just wear it baggy with a pair of boots and a bag yeah just thought it look really cute so that is everything that i got from fashion nova again you'll probably see this on instagram as well so yeah that is everything that i have picked up as of recently um yeah now what am i gonna do i'm gonna pack up all of this mess 
eat some food because I'm starving. And then I've got a friend's dinner tonight. I'm gonna edit a video. Um, what else do I have to do? I wanna take Theo for a walk when it cools down too. That's about it. So I guess I will see you at lunch. I'll show you what I'm eating. So you're probably gonna think this is pretty lazy of me, but for the past couple of weeks, well, the week before I went away and this week, I've been ordering these, they're um, fresh meals to you. This is not sponsored. I literally got pay for them. I got the um, the brand of my mom because she ordered them and I tried them when I was staying there one time. Oh my God, I nearly dropped it again. So I decided to order them. They're like $9.95 each and there's a whole gluten-free section. So I just go on that and pick out my favorite meals and I get about seven at a time. And sometimes I have them for lunch, sometimes I have them for dinner. I just find, obviously, they're super convenient. You just chuck them in the microwave. I keep mine in the freezer. Yeah, I've been having these a lot. So if you're looking for a good um, meal service, these um, are really good. I think they're... I don't actually know where they're based. I know I live on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland and you can get them delivered straight to your door. I usually get them delivered on Fridays and you can select a time and they get delivered in like a big box that's full of like ice things. This sounds sponsored, but it's literally not. I am just lazy. So these are really handy. They keep me accountable. They're low calorie. This one's the um, Portuguese chicken, which I love. It's like mashed potato, chicken and broccoli. It's really yum. And then the other one I really like is peri peri chicken. So yeah, I've been having these a lot lately, but today I think I'm going to, um, I was about to say cook, but I'm going to make a toasty. I feel like making, um, I got organic gluten-free baked beans because yum and gluten-free bread and then like a low calorie cheese. So I might make a bit of a toasty, which isn't the healthiest thing, but it's all low calorie stuff. And I just feel like it's, so I might do that today. And yeah, and then tonight I'm going out for dinner. I think I'll, we're going to Hog's Breath. I don't know if you guys are from Australia, you might know what Hog's Breath is, but there's not like amazing healthy options. So I might get a salad or maybe like a steak or something. We'll see, but I'm gonna make some lunch and I'll show you the end result. And this is my super nutritious lunch via the microwave and a toaster. I'm definitely gonna get some greens in my dinner tonight, but just felt like it, you know, it's all about balance. Good evening guys, it's a little bit later evidently. This afternoon, Ryan and I took Theo for a walk, which was really nice. We took him to the dog park and it was so cute and I stupidly forgot my camera, which I'm so bummed about. So we did that and now it's currently 10 past eight. I've got a dinner at about quarter to six, so I'm gonna leave soon. But oh my God, I am so tired. It has really hit me. I've been really tired since 5 p.m. Just trying to keep my eyes open, keeping busy. So this dinner is probably gonna be good for me. And then I'm literally just gonna come home, get in the shower and get straight to sleep because I'm dying. And I've gotta be up pretty early tomorrow morning to head to Brisbane to do a photo day. So that'll be fun. And I mean, considering I wake up at 3.30 a.m. this morning, I think I'm not gonna have a problem waking up at 5.30 tomorrow. So yes, I'll show you my outfit that I'm wearing. I'm wearing the top that I showed you guys today from Nasty Girl. How cute is it? I love it so much. And then I've paired it with this necklace from White Fox. These are from Princess Polly, and then I've got my Gucci belt. Uh, these jeans are from, where are they from? Universal Store, they're A brand. And then my Jesters. So that's my fit for tonight. Nice and cozy. Good morning. It's been a couple of days since I've picked up the camera for this vlog. I think the last time you saw me, I was out for dinner, or before I went out for dinner with my friends, which was lovely. I got a steak and it was delicious. And I don't know why I didn't film the past couple of days. I guess I've just been busy and I didn't think about it. So I'm sorry about that. But it wasn't really anything too interesting. I just did a photo day on Tuesday in Brisbane, which was nice. And then yesterday I just did a lot of editing and work things. And that's about it. This morning I've been to do a workout. I did legs. I'll leave the workout right here if you guys want to try it. Or I'll put it in the down bar actually. Because um, it was actually a really good one. And it hurt. I'm going to be sore tomorrow, that's for sure. Now I'm in this outfit from White Fox. It's like a workout wear, obviously. <laughs> and I'm about to go to a rooftop to get a photo in it. And then I'll probably come back and get changed because I'm going to film another video today where I go into Kmart and Target and buy a bunch of things that I probably don't need. And I'm going to take you along with me and then do like a haul. So I'm going to film that today. Not sure what else. I need to tackle all of this. Fun times. Probably take Theo to the dog park. I meant to film it yesterday, actually. I filmed a clip yesterday saying I was going to the dog park and I completely forgot to film, so... We're back from getting a photo. Thanks, and, uh, Instagram boyfriend. I just did a wall first. What was that? Oh, you made yourself a sandwich. A wrap. A wrap. A wrap combo. Wrapped it. Theo's destroyed one of his toys, so this is the murder scene. Was that fun for you? Oh, not interested. There's food around. Did you destroy that? 
Was that you? Did you commit murder? I am going to have some lunch now. I think I'm gonna have this meal change into a new outfit for my next video. This top is from Princess Polly. And then I'm wearing these jeans, which are Fashion Nova, my belts. And then I've got some jewelry on. I wear the same jewelry every day. I need to get some more. I want to get these earrings in like a actual gold version because these ones are starting to go a bit brassy. They're from Princess Polly, obviously. They're not real gold, but I really love them and I wear them pretty much every day. So I might try and find some new ones today, actually. Oh, so my meal is in the microwave. That one is 327 calories. And lately I've been having two of them a day. So I'll have one for lunch, one for dinner, which sounds really lazy, but I'm just being honest. It's just what I've been doing. Um, sometimes I'll make lunch, but it depends. Theo, it's not for you. And then for breakfast, I have this porridge, which is my absolute favorite. It's the berry quinoa porridge. It's gluten-free. Well, obviously, because it's just quinoa, but it's got like berry flavor to it. This one is... 110 calories, but I add almond milk, half a banana, half a scoop of protein, and a little bit of Nutella, just like a half spoonful, um, just to add like a little bit of chocolateness to it instead of using honey. Sometimes I use honey, but lately I've been in, in a Nutella mood, so that's been fab. So yeah, I hope this vlog hasn't been too boring. It was basically just for showing you all of the bits. <gasps> that is a potato. And that potato is not yours. No, no, no. <gasps> I understand. I love potato too, but I'm sorry. That is not for you. Oh my God. He stole, <laughs> he stole a potato out of the cupboard. That's the second time he's done that. One day I'll give you a whole potato. Actually, probably not because that's probably really bad for you. <laughs> I don't really know what I was saying, but I pretty much just filmed this vlog to show you guys all of the bits that I picked up. So I hope it's been all right. Let me know what else you want to see in my vlogs because I personally love watching people's kind of home style vlogs for some reason. Um, and I think you guys enjoy them more too because my travel vlogs don't really do as well. And the vlogs where I'm home kind of just living my life seem to do a little better. So if you're interested in that, let me know. And like, let me know what you want to see within those videos. I just feel bad because I haven't really filmed that much in this vlog. I feel like it's just been a bit random, but hope you're enjoying it anyway. Food's nearly done. I'm gonna eat that and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like, straight out the microwave. It's actually so, so yum. I could probably make this myself, but again, I am lazy. So this is great for now. Also, I've got new nails. I haven't shown you guys yet. Ignore my biting around the sides. That is anxiety for you. It's such a bad habit. Um, but I got like nude nails with a white fire flame on one because I'm going to listen out this weekend. And I wanted to do something cool for my nails, but obviously I wanted them to be wearable for the rest of the time that I'll have these ones. Yeah, I love them. I'll leave um, her Instagram right here. She did a really good job. This isn't sponsored. I paid for them, but she's really, really good. So if you live in Brisbane, highly recommend. Theo yeah, is so excited. There's the park over there. Looks like we're going to dogs. Look at that sunset though. Pretty. <laughs> Not that way. There's a dog over there. What does he know? Yeah, that's what he does. Back from the dog park now. Theo had the best time. I had to film on my iPhone because I forgot my bloody camera, as usual. Um, and I didn't film too much because there were actually a lot of people there and I didn't want to film people without them knowing, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed that because I think it's really cute every time I go there. So, I just wanted to show you that. Um, now, I'm going to have some dinner. It's about 6pm. And what else am I going to do? I need to tackle this still. I've been putting it off. And I want to edit this video that you're watching. And... Not sure what else. Ryan and I have been watching Unbelievable at the moment. It's on Netflix. It's just like a crime show and it's really good so far. So we're quite invested in that. We'll watch that tonight and then that's about it. Probably have a Halo Top bath cream and just enjoy my night. So yeah, I'm going to leave you guys here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you would like to be a part of our family. And I'm going to let you live the rest of your life now and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!